So a plus bi, guys, is a complex number. So a complex number is just real and imaginary. It's just going to have that letter I, not really a big deal, because you guys have seen this before. It was craziness when you first learned it, but y'all are pros at I's now. So uh, let's talk about what a complex zero looks like. This is kind of a review from yesterday, but we're just going to do it all over again. So for example one, we're going to review what a complex zero is. Please write down this equation. We're going to solve it together. So to solve it, I would try to factor. Of course, it's a sum of x. I can't factor that. So let's move the 9 over. So we're going to have x squared equals a negative 9. And again, we need x to be by itself. It's being squared. What are we going to do to undo that? Yes. And what do you always draw? Plus or minus. Great, great job. So the only time that you get a complex zero, a complex answer, is when you square root something. So you're always going to have two answers. What is the square root of negative 9? 3i. Mm -hmm. Good. So here's super important concept number one that you need to understand before we move forward. Complex zeros always come in opposite pairs. One of them's negative, one of them's positive. Why does that happen? Because we have to draw a plus minus when we square root stuff. We're the reason why it happens. All right, that is super important concept number one. Are there any questions on that? 